Should I be free? My question is, how am I going to pay for school? The idea that college could be free is a myth. Nothing is ever free. It is a fundamental right to be able to go to college. Do you think elementary school should be free? We're not working in it. This is a plan-based debate. Do you need to work in deafness? We have Mr. Leonard Brown. Good evening. My name is Leonard Brown. And today I will be arguing that college should not be free. Now judges, there needs to be some groundwork laid for this debate. We need to define the resolution because it can mean anything. Now that was the affirmative job, but I took it upon myself to do so. We define the word should as meaning it must happen. The affirmative must present a plan, which they did not do, and it's time frame. The word believe is a morality word. Not only must the affirmative present a plan, but they must tell why it needs to be implemented. Implemented, excuse me. The word college should be defined as a four-year institution, no more and no less. And we define the word free, meaning no cost at all for anyone. Addressing what the affirmative said, we can see that the system is broken. We all know this. But the second point, that free college is a fundamental right, rights can be interpreted, and nowhere in the Constitution does it say college is a fundamental right. Contention one, let's set the record straight. Free is never free. The idea that college could be free is a myth. Nothing is ever free. Somebody is paying for it. In order for college to be paid for, the government would need to increase taxes to pay for others' education. Judges, as we can see that college will need to be paid for the taxpayers, we see that this plan could not work. Contention two, free college floods the job market and it devalues the degree as a whole. People want to college become more competitive in the job market, but if college is now free and degrees are easier to obtain, there's no way to discern who are the best candidates for these jobs, which would increase unemployment and make the degree nearly useless. If college is free, students will flood to enroll colleges like LSU and USC, which will create wait lists. People with money will become a lot more valuable now that nobody is paying tuition. People like Aunt Becky from Full House would not mind paying thousands of dollars to get ahead on those wait lists. <laughs> and that would corrupt the college system even more would bring me to my third and final point, which is retention rates. We need to focus on retention rates rather than free college. Instead of focusing on how to get more kids into college, let's focus on graduating the kids that are currently in college. Only 33.3% only 33 graduate in the designated time of four years, and only 576 graduate in six years. We need to fix graduation rates in college instead of shoving more kids into a broken system. So in conclusion, while free college might sound nice like a dream, in reality, it's a nightmare.